An injury to running back Tyler Gerard Floyd on the first play of the game left Montville without their main offensive weapon in Saturday's Class L semifinal in Middletown. Something popped in his ankle, and uh, they're not positive what that was there. He tried to play through it. He was cleared to play. Unfortunately, he just couldn't go. He couldn't do anything laterally with that ankle of his right now. He's our main vocal point of our offense, so with him not being in the offense, it's kind of like harder for me to do what I do since I'm so used to having him like bruise the defense and then me come in and like cut around. So. Gerard Floyd handed off to Skylar McNair for the first score of the game. But it was all Ansonia the rest of the way. With one minute remaining in the first quarter, Ansonia quarterback Elliot Chudwick threw a screen to wide receiver Arkeel Newsom, who beat every Montville defender to the end zone for a 47-yard touchdown. Montrell Dobbs added a two-point conversion to make the score 8-7. But Dobbs was far from done. Touchdown runs of 51 and 17 yards gave Ansonia a 24-7 lead with eight minutes remaining in the third. He's very patient. He's got a quality offensive line. He's very patient. And then he's got to be the most in-shape athlete I've seen in any sport in the state of Connecticut. I mean, the kid carries the ball 40, 50, 60 times a game, whatever it takes. They call his number. Everyone knows he's getting the ball, and he still does his job. He's a, he's a tremendous football player. I wish him all luck in the world. We watched film on him and we figured that our defense, because we fly around, we figured we could contain him, but his cuts and his breakaway speed is unbelievable, so my hat's off to him. But Dobbs made perhaps the biggest play of the game on defense. Montville appeared to have a chance to get back in the game when McNair broke free for what appeared to be a 58-yard touchdown run. But Dobbs chased him down from behind and stripped the ball, which rolled out of the end zone for a touchback. On Montville's next offensive series, Gerard Floyd came back out in the Wildcat formation, but his long pass intended for Bobby Johnson was underthrown and intercepted by Newsom. We, we did it also because we needed him on the field because we thought it was a pretty strong decoy because he couldn't move with that foot right now. But, uh, you know, we were able to get the ball to McNair, and McNair made some great, great plays for us, and Tyler did throw the ball. He had one, one bad read that he wishes he could have back. Dobbs continued to make it look easy on offense, scoring his third touchdown on a 29-yard run with 119 to go in the third. It took Montville only three plays to answer when Troy Nunes threw it up for Johnson, who made an impressive catch over a pair of defenders. But Ansonia gave the ball back to Dobbs, who ran for his fourth touchdown, and then threw for the conversion to make the score 38-15. Dobbs scored again in the fourth to bring his totals for the game to five touchdowns and 363 yards rushing. Meanwhile, Montville's last scoring attempts were foiled on a second interception by Newsom and another goal line fumble by McNair. With a final score of 46-15, and Sonia advances to the Class S final next weekend at Wrenchler Field. Seeing their eyes and, and seeing kind of, you know, you know, you see a lot of things that you've been through with those boys, you know. Uh, you know, we got a great group there. There's 16 of those guys who have been from day one, you know, dedicated to Montville football. And, uh, you know, we've put a lot of wins on their backs, you know, and I, I hope that doesn't go lost here because we, the last game they played was a loss, but they got a whole lot of wins under their belt, more so than any other group of seniors to come through Montville football.